It seems that the DCU is expanding to lengths that we have never seen before, with video games and animated shows being canon to the main DCU timeline. Hey everyone, welcome back to our movie news. Today we have some more information about the DC Universe confirmed by James Gunn. And personally, it's the best news yet. Throughout a series of tweets, Gunn has confirmed multiple things to expect from DC's future. And it has created so many exciting possibilities. On Twitter, one user asked, at James Gunn, are you and your partner planning to give more DC character TV shows that'll add to the story for the DCEU? And Gunn replied with, yes, most definitely. The DCU will be connected across films and TV and animation. Another user asked, are there plans for games to be connected to the DCU as well, Mr. Gunn? And Gunn simply replied with, yes. So we should be expecting to see movies, TV shows, animation and video games that all connect to the DCU. This opens up so many possibilities for the future. We can now have animated films and shows that can add a lot more depth to the universe. If we look at the Star Wars universe, easily my favourite part of that franchise is the animated Clone Wars series. It allowed smaller stories to be told that really added so much depth to the Star Wars story. And with it being presented through 3D animation, it was far cheaper than creating a six episode live action series. So far more episodes were able to be made and it created new fan favourites that were eventually brought into the live action universe. So if DC could replicate that with DC characters, then the DCU will be incredible. We could have a new Justice League animated series where we follow the smaller stories they go on, or even a Batflex show that tells the story of his past through multiple seasons. That way, we add more depth to his past without having to invest hundreds of millions into a solo movie. And if Affleck doesn't want to create a live action film, then this is the next best thing. They could use the real actors to play the characters in these animated shows, or they could hire voice actors to play their animated counterpart, just like the Star Wars universe does. The use of animation to tell stories within the DC universe will be such an intelligent move that, like I said, can really add so much depth to this franchise. DC movies and TV shows on their own are fantastic, but to add high quality animation, and in my eyes, animation that needs to be 3D, like the Clone Wars show, will just add that extra layer of storytelling that can really take DC to the next level. Not only that, but video games will be a part of the DC canon too. Now I don't see anything negative coming from this, apart from if the games are actually bad. But if they're anything like the Batman Arkham series or the Spider-Man PS4 game, then we are really in for a treat. They most likely won't be major parts of the storytelling, but just like the animated shows, they can add more depth to the universe, and fans who will play the video games will be rewarded with extra details and smaller stories, but they won't be big enough storylines to cause casual fans to miss out on big plot points for the movies and TV shows. So really, we will only be gaining things from adding animation and video games to the canon of this universe, which means that us DC fans really keep on winning. And from a business perspective, it makes sense too. Creating animated DC stories and video games that directly connect to the main DCU could bring in the next generation of loyal DC fans as animation and video games are two media types that children absolutely love. So if you can get them invested in those DC stories, then it becomes far easier to get them invested in the live action DC stories too. So this is such an intelligent move from James Gunn and Peter Safran that I truly believe will be a major success for DC Studios. James Gunn also confirmed that Green Lantern will be a part of the DC Universe too. One fan sarcastically commented on Gunn's Thanksgiving tweet saying, No Green Lantern in this image, therefore I can confidently claim that Gunn and Safran have no intention of adding that character into the DCU. This is a scoop I am 100% confident in. And Gunn responded with, Probably not a good scoop. Happy Thanksgiving. Another user asked him, Just one question, James. Are we going to hear more about this plan before San Diego Comic-Con 2023? 
and Gunn responded with, I'd find it surprising if you didn't hear at least a little more before then. Now, San Diego Comic Con 2023 will be in July of next year, so I would assume that this is a sarcastic comment from James Gunn, as we will most likely get some sort of announcement about the future of the DC Universe in early 2023. So far, everything James Gunn has said about the future of the DCU has really excited me, and I have a lot of faith in him and Peter Safran to make the right decisions. I think those fans who are nervous about Gunn's appointments because of his DC films need to disconnect that from his new role at the company, ignore his style, and focus on the interconnectivity aspect of the storytelling, because that is what his role is at DC Studios. He's not there to force in his humour to every project. He's there to make every film or show, be that live action or animated, and now even video games, to feel connected to the rest of the DC universe, and to ensure that it fits in with the larger story. Look at what he did with Peacemaker and the Justice League cameo. He was the one who wanted the Justice League to be there, including Cyborg, but it was because of the old regime that he wasn't allowed to use them all. So he wanted to bring them back, and he wanted his show to fit in with the rest of the DC Universe, but he was limited by the old regime. Now he is in charge alongside Peter Safran to create an interconnected universe that allows audiences to see the creativity of every director. So we shouldn't judge the future of the DC Universe based on Gunn's particular style, but instead his desire to create an interconnected universe that uses the most famous and the most unknown DC characters. That is what we should judge him on, and so far, he has done a very good job. He's been transparent with the fans, and has also debunked any false information that has been spread by fake scoopers. So I think we should be very happy with the progress DC has made since James Gunn and Peter Safran have taken charge. This can also open up exciting possibilities for the channel too. We could have watch parties for all the new shows, and we can have walkthroughs of all the new DC video games too, as they directly connect to the live action stories told. So they have not only expanded the DC universe, but they have also expanded all the medias in which us DC fans can enjoy the DCU. So like I've said, DC is in good hands, and I cannot wait for the future of this franchise. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.